everybody. I mean, it's almost afternoon, but hello. Um, I feel like I'm always wearing the same clothes in all my vlogs, but that's because I need to get new clothes because a lot of my stuff is too big for me. And um, like, I, like I'd rather wear like sweaters that are like oversized, but um, like one of my like my pants, my t-shirts and stuff are way too big, but I have kept a few back just so that, you know, just for like lounge wear and stuff. Anyways, um, this morning running, I went out to run some errands. I really have to do the dishes, sorry, I guess you're attracted. Um, he's going to Scarborough for t today and tonight. And, um, I am working. I was supposed to not be working, but I am 2.30 to 8.30, and then I'm working at 8 a.m. tomorrow, which is wonderful. So we need all of the caffeine this, uh, this week, for the next two days. So we got a Starbucks coffee, and then I'm almost done this with some cut mold. You know, I'm like two-thirds of the way through. Um, I just kind of like want to, like, I don't mind it, but I want to get into the peppermint. Um, I uploaded a vlog, uh, today, um, you would have already seen it, um, where's my cookbook cups? Aha, I had one. I love using these rice coffees. Um, sorry, what was I talking about? Oh, um, so we went into Martin's and they have, like, I was like, I want something different. I got a French vanilla ice cap, um, a large iced coffee with uh, almond milk, but I wanted something different today. You know, like, hey, like, do you guys have any like holiday drinks? And um, they were like, yeah, and he was sort of feeling. I tried the um, gingerbread <laughs> oat latte um, because my taste buds are still screwed from being sick. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if I would have enjoyed it if I was not sick. But, um, yeah, it was tasty and it was coffee and, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. So, yeah, if you guys have tried it or, um, you want to try it out, please do and, like, let me know what you think. Because I don't trust my judgment right now. So, I did tell my friend, um, or I said about it from my uh, work because you know Starbucks used to have a gingerbread latte during the holidays and she said it was her favorite and they I don't think they have it this year. I haven't been to Starbucks in ages. Mm. That's good. Um so I was like <laughs> when I tried it I was like immediately, hey Larissa, like tomorrow has a gingerbread um oat latte because she's vegetarian and um and she doesn't drink a lot of dairy or she doesn't have dairy I forget I forget um so I was like you have to try it out because it's made with oat milk and I really like I can tell the difference I don't some people can't but I can tell the difference between the milks and stuff like that and no it was, it was tasty it was really good but anyway I'm gonna drink this, but then I, first I'm gonna go, she went over the laundry. Um, I just, I'm just doing a load cause I needed my work clothes. So I'm gonna go quickly do that. I started at 2.30, it's 12 o'clock now. I got more than enough time, but yeah. I'm gonna go switch it over and then i finish my show I'm watching, I'm watching. A new show I found on Netflix called Pine Gap. It's really interesting. I'm on episode four of the six episodes. And, um, I mean, it's just, it's about, um, Pine Gap is like a facility that's like highly secure, uh, with the Americans and, um, Australians, and they basically just kind of try and stop, um, like, it reminds me a lot of, like, would it be, um, NSA or something? I don't know, I, I, maybe I'm kind of like NSA, because I know NSA, they're more like, they watch like what happens over abroad, um, over abroad, abroad and stuff like that. But um, they use satellites to, you know, to make sure, like, 
you know, for like weapons, you know, say like nuclear attack, for example, um, stuff like that. And, um, you know, they just try to protect their country and, you know, Australian and American and, you know, just prevent wars and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I like Australian hills because I like the accent. The country's beautiful. I'd love to visit. And, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's kind of easy in a way. Like, the romance, which I don't really appreciate. Um, just because I feel like, I don't know, just... I like it enough that I'm already in the fourth episode. But I don't love it. I mean, maybe I will. Maybe the last episode will be a cliffhanger. I'll be, like, addicted to it. And hope that there'll be another season. But we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, that's a show that I'm watching. And, um, yeah. I would give it, like, right now, I'd give it, like, a um, 6 out of 10. But, um, yeah. It's kept me interested enough that I'm already on for, um, episode 4. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go straight in with the laundry. Alright. I'll see you guys. Maybe I'll uh, bring you guys to work. Well, I'll film me going to work or something. I don't know yet. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm, like, I'm really anxious lately. And I'm still sick. And I'm just, there's a lot going on in my head. And, um. Yeah, I do a lot of changes, as you guys know. So I'm just kind of not doing very well mentally. So I need to uh, figure that out. But yeah, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm home from work. I've been home for about, it's what, 9.30? I got home at about, I want to say... Sorry, hold on. Just about... Just before, just after 8.30, um, I got to leave a little earlier, but it was nice. Um, I have a rum and coke, and I'm just making myself pearl heat. I was going to, I'm like in so much pain. Um, I think I know I've walked, uh, I do weekly and daily vlogs or whatever my videos are, um, to share my life with you and to share my struggles, my experience, my ups, my, you know, my, um, uh, achievements, everything, um, especially with having a disability, not, uh, this disability is so rare that, you know, I've only met one other person, and that was a few weeks ago, and I haven't seen her since, which sucks, because it would have been nice to kind of, like, talk more, next time I see her, if I see her, I'm mean, gonna be like, that weird, I'll be like, can I get your number? <laughs> Because, like, it's so rare somebody to have, uh, collateral association, or what I call it, Vader Syndrome. Um, I'm gonna link a playlist to my Vader Syndrome, uh, playlist, so you guys can go check it out and, um, you know, learn from them. Um, obviously I'm not a doctor and all that stuff, but no, um, I don't know what it was. Like, I just, I ate before I went to work. Um, I, you know, I had the gingerbread, uh, oat latte from De Martin. that was good. Um, I mean, I could barely taste anything, but, um, it, from what I could taste, it was good. Um, but I don't know, like, I just was feeling really hot and not myself. And not only now can I not feel my left leg, I'm starting to lose feeling my right, right leg. And my right arm has been very sore the past like day or so and I don't know why and I'm really like, kind of concerned so I think tomorrow I'm just gonna call the doctor and be like what the hell what the hell did he do to me when he gave me that cortisone shot um but I see him not this week coming um the following week after I go to my hand my hand and wrist surgery consultation and uh, we're gonna see what's going on from there. But yeah, I'm just um, kind of like boiling or whatever the pierogies. I'm making pierogies. I don't have an onion, but honestly, I can, can't be bothered with an onion right now. And my tummy, like, I almost said my tummy. My tummy's kind of yucky right now. So yeah, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm like in my own little world. I have a lot of laundry on because I have no clean work clothes. So I did a load earlier, but I'm doing another one now to show that I have stuff for like 
uh, tomorrow and then uh, Sunday I think I'm working. I don't have much to tell you yet. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to focus on this setup around the house down. Uh, that's the last thing anybody needs. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say hi, I'm alive. I'm sorry I didn't bring you to work with me. I was thinking that on my way home, I'm like, shit, I didn't, like, you know, bring you, you know, bring you guys out and try to kill you, but I'm not really supposed to film anyways, and I don't really, really like to film when I'm at work, so, yeah. But anyways, um, my pierogies are almost done. I'm just gonna fry them up with some martin, and, um, yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna watch the rest of Pine Gap. I'm on, like, episode four or five now no i'm on episode five and um i'm yeah like i said it's not my favorite show but it's like one that has my attention enough so anyways um i'll probably see you guys tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon sometime tomorrow and we'll see you hope you have a good night and uh yeah by the way for those of you who celebrate thanksgiving in the u.s happy thanksgiving this is going up way past it, but I'm going to hand it to you now. Alright. Alright. This is Portland. I gotta go. Bye. Hey guys, it's Saturday. Um, it's my day off. Ryan is moved out. And honestly, I don't know how I feel. Um, I... I'm sad. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a hard day, um, it's different, um, I've never lived on my own before, I've always lived with my family, then I moved in with him, and it's just, I'm, I don't know, anyways, um, I'm just putting away, or, yeah, I'm putting away some laundry. Um, I'm gonna start heating up. Why did my bed go in the room? Um, I'm just heating up some, like, my shirts, like these white shirts. They get really wrinkly, so I'm gonna heat it up. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, time keepings. I need to get one of those, uh, uh, steamers from Amazon. Maybe I'll treat myself for Christmas to get one. Um, I mean, they're not like nice wear, but you know, you never want a wrinkly top. So I just, you know, when I get one for myself, just so I have it for when I do have like nice tops and stuff like that. Something I want to get best for myself is like, you know, I want to start shopping for nicer clothes. And uh, yeah, I'm especially since I've lost. Oh god, uh, I weighed myself a few, a couple weeks ago and I'm like down over a hundred pounds, so yeah, sorry, not like all the way up. <laughs> um, and why is this here? This goes in the bedroom as well. Um, yeah, I have a lot of like these nice sweaters that I just want to hang up and stuff. Um, I'm hunting, um, my new favorite. I mean, I've been following them on TikTok, and then I found out that they had a YouTube channel. So I've been kind of like been watching their their videos and stuff on YouTube, and they're um, uh, Hulk twins, Jazz and Renee. I'm gonna link their uh, YouTube and the TikToks down below. Um, yeah, they're really, really. I like. I love their videos on TikTok, and then I was like. When I found out they had a YouTube channel, I'm like, yes. Um, I think he asked the nurse, or is it Renee? I think he asked, he's a nurse at a hospital, and then Renee, um, he worked at a hotel, but I think he recently has quit her job. Um, you know, like, I wish I could do that, uh, because he does a lot of the editing and stuff for their videos. And he said that he needed, you know, he can do everything. And, you know, their YouTube channel is, like, really blowing up, which is incredible. And, yeah, like, they deserve, they deserve it. They're from Australia, too, so, like, the accent, like, I love their accent. And I love to see, like, different, like, like, 
I like watching Vlogmas or even like just vlogs in general of like people from different countries like what things are like during different seasons and stuff like that and yeah so yeah I've just been like binge watching the vlogs um I'm I don't know what I want to have for dinner it's gonna have noodles but I think I'm gonna make rice and I have a bunch of veggies that I'm probably gonna steam and just make like a rice vegetable um like frozen veggies I want to uh, kind of like eat them up because I don't want them to like sit around for a while and I have a lot of veggies in the freezer and then uh, maybe Thursday or like next week or something um I'll do a big help because I have enough food for myself for like the next week and two weeks or so so yeah I don't need to buy anything like like right away I have everything here um, but yeah, it's just going to be really weird that I'm like by myself and yeah, it's hard, but, um, we'll get through it. We'll get through it together. <laughs> He's still going to be in the vlogs. He's still, you know, like if they were still best friends, he got like coming down on Tuesday because I have to go see that, um, Hannah Rich Churton in the consultation to see about, um, if any if or when I need surgery for this because it's been really bad lately and um yeah excuse me <coughs> sorry but yeah I'm gonna go put my laundry away when I start making dinner I'll show you what I'm having even though it's sold to you um I have two different uh, oh yeah, let's see. actually let me go put let me go put the sneak clothes away get the cat out of the closet and We'll see what kind of it is we have in the future. All right. So let's see what we have in here. So we have this is the one that I'm kind of craving the most, and this is um, from Sobe. This is California style mixed vegetable broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And then I know I have another bag that's open in here. I just have to find it. I have some wrap. Uh, oh, they're expired. I have a lot of pierogies. Sorry, can you hear me? I have a lot of pierogies. Um, Ryan and I, Octavia, <laughs> we went to the store and uh, got this club size pack of pierogies. This is the, uh, my favorite one, potato and cheddar. Um, oh, I have another California corn. I two of those, but I know I have a bag of veggies that are open. Now, Ryan shirts in here. Got some more fries. Got a bag of ice. No more whole bag. These have been in here for way too long. Okay, we'll get rid of those. Oh, we have chicken in here too. You know what? I'm gonna put these in the freezer. And I'm gonna, or in the freezer, in the fridge. And maybe make some tomorrow. I have some burgers in here. Oh, I thought I had more veggies. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, now the freezer kind of looks nicer. I just open it a little bit. Okay, what? Take a look at these. I hate wasting food, but I know that in, I know they've been in the freezer, but I just I don't want things to sitting around. They were expired like three, four months ago. So yeah, okay. Um, what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna have this one tonight, kind of the old one, and then have these at another time. I also have like chicken burgers, waffles, a couple freezies, 
Nope. I don't have a daisy. That has to be thrown out too. Um, I don't know what this is for. Is it picking? Yeah, I think it's time we clean out. Oh, sorry, my grandmother's calling me. I have to, I'll see you guys when I make dinner. Bye. All right, guys, so it's about 6.30. I'm hungry, and I want to get to bed early. So I'm going to make my dinner now. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, let's get started. I have to get to bed. Let me see what I'm going to do. I know French I don't know. Um, microwave, stove top, cup of frozen a large pot, bring one cup of water to boil, cup, place two cups of frozen into the pot and cover the turn to a boil. Okay. Yeah, there was broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower in this one. So I'm going to make rice as well. So what I'm going to do is make the uh, rice in this pot and then make the veggies in this one. And yeah, that's going to be my dinner for today. I'm not very, like, I'm hungry, but I'm not overly hungry. So let's go get the rice. I'm gonna finish uh, the Parmesan and buttered, but buttered, buttered rice. <laughs> um, I need. I always forget. I just know this already. So I need one cup of water for a half a cup of rice, and whatever I have left over is up right with me. For lunch, I'll have it tomorrow when I get home from work. So I need one cup of water. And this needs uh, one cup of water too. If anybody is wondering, these pot or these Mentoring cups are from the dollar store. Um, I quite like them. Uh, and a large pot. Uh, one cup of water. Uh, so I'm going to put that right to a boil. And then for the rice, I need butter. Which I need to buy more of. And then I need half a cup of rice. Oh, that's basically all the rice. Okay, that's all done. Um, combine rice water. So, I'm gonna pour that in now. Just trying to use up what we have here. Um, And then I'm gonna do two cups of this. Apparently, I need some vegetables. Whenever I'm or we're in the kitchen, Octavia has to sit on top of the fridge and it's the cutest thing. Ooh. It's been in there for a while. I swear the freezer's way too hot. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna take care of this. I'll be right back. 
I guess the only thing that was kind of good about, I mean, besides not being in like a healthy space, I said, yeah, food right there, baby girl. What? What? You can't Um, would be, I can kind of just eat when I want and what I want. I mean, not like I've been before, but I, like, we always wanted to be self-conscious of what the other person wants to eat. And I <coughs> decided this way before everything happened that I was going to start watching, not watching, but just, I wanted to minimize I've been to my channel, the amount of uh, red meat I was having just because it was something that I didn't digest very well. TMI, I know. Mmm. Perfect. I'm gonna let that sit and puffer. This is still going. Almost there. Um, I mentioned this before where I said how I wanted to kind of watch like eating red meat and stuff like that and how it doesn't, I don't feel good after I eat it. And um, yeah, and I'm, I'm not going to go full vegetarian or full vegan. I mean, I'm going to try go vegetarian, but um, but just kind of cut out. Princess, what's wrong? What's wrong, Princess? And she knows I'm sad. Because she's been by my side all day. Um. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby girl. So, yeah, I just want to, yeah, just kind of watch what I'm eating in a way and just kind of take care of, take better care of my body and um yeah like I said not like I couldn't before um now I'm like I'm not just focused on him I can just focus on me and the baby so yeah that's where we're at so let's see how the race I might always take the longest I should have maybe started the race sooner that's okay But yeah, so we're just gonna make a little rice spent bowl. I don't know if I have any like sauces to use. Um, I wanted to put a little bit of soy sauce in it, but uh, I don't have that. Plus, that has a lot of salt in it because I only have the one kidney. I minimize how much salt I have. I mean, this, the rice probably has a lot of salt, but like, yeah, this, I don't want to add more salt into something else, so. Excuse <coughs> me. Yeah, let me know uh, what kind of ingredients you use, or like dressings or anything that you use when making like a stir fry or anything like that um i'd love to know but uh yeah this is almost done now you can probably hear it there were like there was about a half a tablespoon or half a, half a cup Wait, it's maybe a little bit less. So I don't, I'm worried that there's too much water in this and I'm gonna have to drain some of it out. I mean, it's okay if there is, so. But yeah, the vet he's are done, I'm keeping that covered. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna finish making this and then I'll show you the finished product. Yeah, I uh, caught my nail on something earlier and it came off, it's a little gross and a little sore, so. Yeah, and then I have to clean up my bedroom, and then I'm gonna have a shower, and then, I don't know, probably watch some more TV or YouTube, and then 
hit the hay. So, yeah, I'll see you guys. See you guys in a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're almost there. All right, see you in a bit. This is so good, honestly. <clears throat> exactly what I needed, nice and warm and healthy. This is perfect. Got the kidneys over there. This is perfect. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, 9 a.m. Say hi to everybody. Here, you want to go up to your perch? She likes to sit up on top of the fruit. After all, um, I have an ear infection. So that's great. Um, I called my um, ENT this morning to see if I can get an appointment as soon as possible. But oh my god, I woke up and it was so painful. And I wear a hearing aid, so I not like I can't not wear a hearing aid, especially since I'm working. So there's that. Um, I'm tired. Um, I'm I don't even know. I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now. But uh, yesterday I didn't film anything because I just I needed a me day, even though I was working in the morning from nine thirty to two thirty. I was working so. Um, when I got home, I just wanted to do my own stuff, just, you know, be by myself. And, um, yeah, I didn't do my, I had his work, came home, watched some TV, and, uh, yeah. That was, uh, my day yesterday. I don't have a nap on the jacket, too. But, um, yeah, I may have a nap before I go to work, too. I'm exhausted, but let's have some coffee. I'm gonna have to buy some coffee on Thursday because I'm running out. Today's Monday, right? I don't even know my days anymore. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not looking forward to Christmas this year. I just. This is my favorite season, but I'm just not feeling it. So, yeah. I mean, I have the Christmas tree on and I light it up, but yeah, I just, no spirit. I wouldn't say that. That's my hair is so good. I'm gonna have my peppermint uh, mocha creamer today. Mix it up a bit. Pretty good. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in front of the TV now and uh, <laughs> just relax before work. I start at 2.30 today. Uh, I'm not looking forward to the shift at all. I just wanna relax. But I have tomorrow and Wednesday off, but I think I'm doing stuff. Excuse me, Octavia. I think I'm doing stuff on um, Wednesday, so I don't know. I kinda just, yeah. Anyways. I'm going to start moaning and groaning because, um, that's, you know, it's not nice. And, uh, enjoy my coffee, try and wake up a bit, watch some TV, plan out some videos. Um, because I'm not, uh, I don't have anything to post on Monday and then post on Wednesday. Um, I'll see, like, what I can film. And, uh, you might get a bunch of videos this week, so yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys later, most likely. Hey guys, um, it's Monday night. Um, I think it's about 11 o'clock now. Um, Ryan is here. Um, well, he was here. He, we had dinner and then 
he left to go to work and then tomorrow um he'll be back and then uh we have my appointment to see the specialist about my hand and my wrist hi baby girl and um yeah so yeah i don't i don't even know like it's it's weird but at the same time it's kind of like nothing's changed and um yeah i guess we still love each other and uh yes yeah, is what we gotta do but yeah so i was i worked today 2 30 to 8 30 well roughly like eight o'clock i finished by the time i got out of there it was like 8 30 because um, i'm not gonna lie i'm talking to a couple couple people really princess really princess she could be a part of everything she's trying to get my bottle cap from my pop can you like thank you my love she wants me to put the blanket on my lap so she can lay on it but yeah today work was interesting to say the least um yeah it was i really got to film my what is life working in retail video so bad i'm gonna do two one is this basically working in retail and then and second one what is like working in retail with a physical disability because there's a lot of points that i want to make at so i'm gonna write some points out um as you guys know or have noticed that i didn't post on a video on friday um and like earlier today on monday i'm hoping to get one up for Wednesday, I don't know. If I do get one up on Wednesday, it might be up a little later, but we shall see because there's a lot going on and I don't know how I'll be doing mentally. That's kind of why I haven't filmed. And I mean, I should film. I just mentally right now with everything going on, I'm not, I don't think I'm in the right place and I don't want to put up videos that I'm not happy with. You know how many videos I filmed? And then like I put it through iMovie on my phone. So I film and edit my videos on my phone. I barely even edit my videos because I want to be as real as possible with you guys. Like I, not that I'm saying like when people edit their videos they're being fake or whatever. Like I'm giving you the real me. I'm giving you like, you know, who I am. And I never want to come across as fake. Not that anybody that edits a video is fake. Um, I just personally, I don't know. I don't like too much editing in videos. Um, but everybody has their own preference. Everybody has their own, you know, um, way of doing things. Um, I'm going to link a couple of my favorite YouTubers that I really love their editing. Um, one, they're both... They're both uh, Canadians, and they're both from Toronto, and uh, we have um, the first one I've been like been watching all her videos is uh, Caitlin DeSilva. I'm going to link her channel down below. I have no wife watching all her videos. And then uh, Tara Michelle. I'm sure everybody knows and loves her. Um, I love like their editing video, like their, the way they edit their videos, their videos in general. Absolutely incredible. And, um, yeah, so I'm the, yeah, I, like, I love the, the way they edit their videos. And I know they, they are so good about, like, their editing, like, they, they work so hard on it. And I would like to be able to be that good, but I don't have a computer. Um, when, uh, Ryan moved out, he took the computer because he kind of, like, uses it more to play games and stuff, but it's fine. I'll get a new one. But anyways um yeah so that's where we're at so i'm sorry if you don't always like my videos the way they're edited or unedited but it's just it's me so anyway i'm gonna go and watch some youtube probably and or uh some gilbert girls and uh i still have this ridiculous shyness whatever it is um i'm feeling a lot better though um it's just that night it really hits me and in the morning it hits me, but all in all, I'm pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow on our way or at the hospital. And uh, 
I'll be up by next night. My appointment at 2 p.m. I think we need to leave here by like at least 1.30. <coughs> so yeah, that should be interesting. Alrighty guys, I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, I haven't spoken to you guys in a while. Um, or was it yesterday? I think it was the last night. Was it? Yeah, it must have been last night. Anyways, it might have been yesterday, it might have been the day before, but anyways, Ryan's here. He was here to come with me to my hand wrist consultation surgery thing today. That was a issue. I mean, we got some answers, kind of. Um, they don't know what's going on with my wrist the way that they were testing it and feeling like the nerves and what I can feel, what I can't feel, and they were asking questions. Um, they think it's all part of like my syndrome. If you don't know, I have uh, Fouadra Association or Fader Syndrome. I'm going to link the playlist to my Fader Syndrome uh, playlist uh, where, where I discuss the acronym where I discuss, you know, a uh, letter of the acronym, all that stuff. Basically, long story short, it's coming up as that um, my nerves are backwards. So the nerves that are supposed to be for these two fingers are actually for these fingers. Um, when I sleep at night, these three fingers, so my middle finger, my uh, ring finger, and my pinky, Close now, can't feel them. I can't feel them now. Can't feel them in general as a whole. Um, I don't know why, but right now I can't feel my entire arm. But that's a whole different story. So they're sending me for ultrasound and some electrical kind of testing thing where they like attach like wires to you and test like your nerves. So that's basically what they think it is the nerves. Hi, princess. The baby girl is here. So last night, the reason why I'm vlogging now is to update you guys and um, I'm going to make dinner. So last night, I had, I think I told you, yeah, I think I told you the other night that we had chicken in the freezer. And I was like, I'm going to make it. So I took it out of the freezer. I didn't make it the night that I took it out for. I made it yesterday. And oh my god, I... So I made this, and um, they have the only noodles that we have, and um, I'm not even mad about it because, oh my god, it's so good. There's so much chicken in it. So basically what I was trying to do was make a, um, like I was going to do like a rotini pasta or some sort of like different pasta. I've broken the pastas tomorrow when I do it. Yeah. But basically I just wanted to make a pasta with chicken in it with Alfredo sauce. Sorry, I just realized you guys are so up. Um, yeah, I was making it when Ryan came, uh, came home, or came over, and, um, I had four pieces of chicken, and two of them are in the fridge, for, like, sandwiches and stuff, and then the other two I put into this day, and I'm actually going to fry it up to have for dinner tonight. It's 10 o'clock now, or, like, 5 to 10, and, um, I'm gonna fry it up so that Ryan and I can eat. I'm gonna get some more Pam tomorrow. This stuff is so good. It's um, non-stick, no stick cooking spray, no artificial flavor, um, made with canola oil. I love this stuff so much. So let's put this on medium. Yeah, I'm just gonna dump this in and make it fry it up and stuff like that and yeah it was so good it was so 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 good but uh yeah so ryan is going back to scarborough tomorrow after work but we are going to run some errands in the morning and then apparently everybody wants to see me tomorrow so i'm going to the christmas market with cassandra um yeah my grandfather wants to see me and unfortunately he doesn't have his car right now, so he asked if I wouldn't mind coming down to visit him at his building. And I'm like, of course I don't mind, like, he's my grandfather. So I'm going to go see him. 
I have some stamps and stuff I'm going to take over and see what he thinks of them, if he's interested in them. I'm just going to give them to him, like, he's retired now, so I think he would really appreciate it. And yeah, just, you know, spend time with him, have a coffee. Um, I know that it's Martin's, like, down, like, in the condo, like, where he lives, so, like, it's Martin, like, downstairs, so get a coffee, chat. I know he's been like, kind of worried with me uh, being like living on my own and stuff like that, but I'm like, I'm all good. I got this. I promise you. But uh, you know, you know, parents, and grandparents, especially like my grandparents, they're very, you know, they they, they worry a lot. But I understand, but at the same time, it's like I have to grow as a human myself. You know what I mean? Like, I can't depend on somebody forever. I can the only person I can depend on is myself. So yeah, anyways, let's put this in. I need effort, it's like really cool, I need to... Whoa. I don't know what it's happening with. Um, I need to break it down. Turn it down. Ooh. No, man overboard. Come back. Thank you. I'm just heating it up. I was gonna put the microwave, but I'd rather just do it this way. I might add actually a little bit of water. So that there's some moisture in there. there we go. But yeah, um, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be an interesting day. It's my last day off, and then I think Saturday I'm gonna try and go see my grandma and figure out this whole moving situation and moving my furniture for grandma's here. Um, but I know he wants to see me too, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to keep myself busy in a way. But no, it's been nice to have Ryan here and, you know, like I said, and I keep saying, and I will say, you know, we're still best friends. He's still a big part of my life, but we're just not meant for each other. And this is just what's right for us now. So yeah, you know, it's still hard. It's weird coming home to, from work and, She's not here, but eventually, you know, I'll get used to it. Yeah, I've had the last couple days off, so I've just been kind of taking time to do errands. Take care of myself. I got an ear infection too, so that's lovely. I have to pick up my eardrops tomorrow while I'm in Parkdale. But yeah. I don't know what else to say. I don't know how this walk's going to be. I haven't filmed anything for YouTube in a while either. But I think tomorrow, when I find time in between going for errands in the morning, doing groceries in the morning, going to the Christmas birthday with Cassandra, um, then going to see my grandfather, coming home, I'll probably be exhausted, but I do want to film. But I think what I'll do is I'll film a video for like the Christmas market. Like that'll be its own video. But we'll see. I forgot I had a alarm for 10 p.m. on my phone and just scared me. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll do like a separate video just for like a sports run or Christmas market to sell you just for today. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm going to make this eat. Send Ryan off to work. And then, uh, yeah, I'll probably just see you tomorrow morning while we run some errands. But, uh, yeah, I'm still alive. I'm doing good. Just making some dinner. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, yeah. By the way, I think I'm breaking out of my eyebrows. The weirdest spot to break out. I gotta get my eyebrows done, too. That needs to be a task for soon. Like, one day soon. All right. Now I'm gonna go. Love you.
know what I'm saying. Oh, boy.